Before I could make this video, I had to get some more filament. I ran out after the troll of my reddit post. So we reached out to the fine folks of Colorfab and asked them if they would sponsor some filament for this video. And to my delight, they generously agreed. So a big thanks to the team at Colorfab. If you're interested in trying out some of their great filaments, I've included the links in the description below. Once again, thank you for your support and let's get started with the video. Getting the cleanest connections between the arms and the torso into a great seam so it makes it easier to weld it later on. So by printing the arms in the upright position the connection is really clean and using support W on my bamboo X1 carbon made it easy to remove all the supports. Let's start welding with a hot espresso and see if we can finish before it gets cold. I'll be using the pine sole soldering iron today and I'll set the temperature to 175 degrees Celsius. I have installed the biggest rounded tip that has a flat area. The cheaper Amazon soldering iron also has a rounded and flattened tip and should work almost the same as the pine sole. Make sure that you keep your tip clean while you're welding the plastic. Um, I'm using this soldering cleaning thing I use some super glue just to keep the arm from falling out of the torso. Then start adding some brim, pieces of brim to the seam and use your soldering iron to weld it in place. Make sure you don't stay on one specific spot too long. The plastic tends to get soft. So if you need to clean up a bit, move on to another spot and come back to it later. Make sure you watch the whole video, there are some great tips later on. Take your time to go around the whole seam once and after you've done that it'll be time to make it uh, as clean as possible. So let's speed up this uh, movie a little bit so you can see how I do the whole right arm. Change the tip for the armpit. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, the coffee is still hot. I used painter's tape here to protect the model while working on the armpit. This way, if I accidentally touch any other part than I want to touch, uh, the model is protected. Even though the welding is done at 175 degrees, I still have a fan on on the right side blowing the fumes away from my face. I don't think I need to be worried about fumes, but this is just to be on the safe side. Now just a little bit of sandpaper to get rid of the gloss that happened after the welding. And the first round is done. And the coffee is still hot. After a little bit of testing, I noticed that to get the seam as clean as possible, um, it helps to use a mineral oil to smooth out the seam. Any natural mineral oil will work. I just happen to have some uh, IKEA skid mineral oil in the cupboard doing nothing. Well, right arm is done, so let's move over to the left arm. This is going to be in one take. I'll speed it up to eight times the speed and uh, have fun watching the seam disappear. And that's it. Both arms are attached. Both seams are gone. If you want to try your hand at plastic welding, I've created a practice object that you can download from printables.com and you can practice welding before printing out the whole troll. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the whole video. I hope you learned something and if you're interested in uh, any other videos, please subscribe and leave any suggestions in the comments. Thanks again for watching.